Natalie, thanks. Right now, Little Rock police are working to find the person who shot and killed someone last night. Police found one person dead around 8 o'clock at the Eagle Nest Apartments. The victim's identity has not been released. Police believe the shooting could be drug-related. This shouldn't be a fight between two different parties. This should be a coming together where we all realize that something is wrong, and even if we disagree on the way to fix it, we all just need to talk about it and stop being angry and stop slandering other people because that doesn't help anyone, and that's why people die. New details this morning in Wednesday school shooting in Parkland, Florida. 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz is accused of shooting and killing 17 and injuring more than a dozen. Police say he took an Uber to get to the school, then left, managing to evade police for an hour. He's charged with 17 counts of first-degree premeditated murder. Nationally, the debate over gun laws has sparked again, with neither side seemingly able to reach a compromise. We cannot tolerate a society and, and, and live in a country with any level of pride when our babies are being slaughtered. That's, that's not the right answer here. The answer is we should be targeting violent criminals. That's what works. That's what's effective. And, and that's what I have been pressing to do and what I'll continue pressing to do. Here in Arkansas, it's much of the same. Lawmakers can't seem to agree on a course of action to try and stop these type of shootings. Last year, lawmakers passed a bill allowing people with enhanced carry and concealed license to bring guns on college campuses. Lawmakers are split on this issue. So if we let people with a concealed carry license carry there, we will deter some of these killers. And God forbid, if they do show up, pull out their weapon, there could be somebody there that might be able to shoot back. So having more guns on campus will do nothing to deter uh, the kind of tragedies that Representative Collins says he wants to prevent. It's only going to make them more likely. Guns on grade school campuses is something federal law handles. Breaking news this morning, Fayetteville police have arrested a student who allegedly made a threat against the school. We've learned the school resource officer learned about a video posted to Snapchat yesterday. The student was arrested around 2 o'clock this morning. They do not believe the threat was credible. And this just in, we're learning a very student is in custody this morning. According to the Berryville School District's Facebook page, the threats were made on social media. We're told no students were ever in danger. And we're also learning a student in Star City was arrested last night for a threat. Police determined it was not credible. More on these threats today on Arkansas Today at noon. A student in Mammoth Spring is in custody this morning, accused of plotting a school shooting. Police arrested him on Wednesday, the same day as the shooting in Florida. The underage suspect's name has not been released. He could be charged with terroristic threatening. This morning, a North Little Rock High School student is in jail, accused of bringing a gun on campus. Kyron LeBron was arrested on Wednesday. Police say he was showing it off in the bathroom. A student saw it and told an administrator who told the gun was loaded. LeBron is charged as an adult with a minor in possession of a handgun. Now, we did some digging, not including the shooting in Florida or the threats in northwest Arkansas. There have been seven other arrests made this week. You see them on the map behind me. Five of the threats were stopped before anything could happen. Police in Clarksburg, Maryland, arrested a student who allegedly had a gun on campus. And police in Grand Rapids, Michigan, arrested a student who brought fake Molotov cocktails to campus. No one was injured in any of these threats. Back at home, Conway police are investigating a deadly home invasion. We're told police responded to shots fired call around 5 o'clock last night. Police tell KRK a man shot at two people at his home. The man says it was all in self-defense. Conway police do not believe it was random. We'll have more on this tonight, starting at 4 o'clock on KRK 4 News. Today, we could learn the names of the people involved in a possible murder-suicide in Jacksonville. Police found the victims at a mobile home park yesterday. Investigators do say a man and woman are dead. We're told a child was inside when this all happened. Right now, police are working to get the child with other family members.